Welcome to Granny's Musical Apartment. This story will teach your child to read bass clef music notes, or the low notes for the left hand of the piano. Bass clef notation is also the notes for many instruments, such as the trombone, tuba, or bass guitar. This video contains a bass clef quiz and their first bass clef song, which the child can practice. The end of the video will show you how to receive free character note stickers you can put on your piano and beginning quiz cards. You can also go to our website, www.milesmusic.com, spelled M-Y-L-E-S, for more product information. Now, let's begin our story. One day, Crazy Cat decided to take a walk on the fence between Mr. E's and Granny Everybody's apartment. Mr. E's apartment is up on the hill and has a nickname symbol called Treble Clef, which means high or high notes. Granny's apartment is down lower and has a nickname symbol called Bass Clef, which means low or low notes. Granny, who lives on the first floor of her apartment building, plays a swinging guitar. Granny rents her apartment to teenage music students. She has a student living on each floor. Granny Everybody is on the first floor. Billy on the Big Bad Bass is on the second floor. Danielle on the drums is on the third or middle floor. Freckle Freddy on the fiddle is on the fourth floor. And Alto Al plays the alto sax in the attic, or fifth floor. While she walks, Crazy Cat loves to listen to the music that comes from Granny's apartment. Crazy Cat especially loves to listen to the teenagers when they play their music on Granny's rooftop. This way, she can easily see and hear them when they are on the rooftop. When Granny and the teenagers play their instruments together, we call this a band. Let's make icons which show the band on the roof as note symbols. Did you notice that when we took the roof off, that we now have a music staff? The band on the roof is on the top of the staff. Granny also rents to four singers who live in the space between the lines. Four singers with unusual faces live in the spaces between the floors. The characters in the spaces are... Awesome Alice, Cool Colleen, Exciting Eddie, and Groovy George. How fast can you say their descriptive names? Awesome, Cool, Exciting, Groovy. Again, but faster. Awesome, Cool, Exciting, Groovy. Faster! Awesome, Cool, Exciting, Groovy. Awesome Alice, Cool Colleen, Exciting Eddie, Groovy George. Now, let's look at all the characters in Granny's apartment. Remember, Granny on guitar, Billy on the big bad bass, Danielle on the drums, Freckle Freddy plays the fiddle on the fourth floor, Alto Al plays the alto in the attic. Don't forget our singers in the spaces. Awesome, cool, exciting, groovy, band in the land. Can you remember which instrument each person plays in Granny's band? Who's on guitar? On the big bad bass. On the drums. On the fiddle. On the alto. Did you know that Granny's band is the most awesome, cool, exciting, groovy band in the land? How fast can you say this phrase? Awesome, cool, exciting, groovy band in the land. The song or musical rap on the next two pages, which has illustrated words, will help you remember all the characters in Granny's apartment. The song Granny's Theme is on tracks one and two on Granny's CD. Now, listen to Granny's musical rap, and if you wish, sing along with it. Guitar, bass, drums, fiddle, alto, guitar, bass, drums, fiddle, alto, Granny's on guitar and Billy's on the big bad bass, Danielle's on the drums and Freddie's on the fiddle, Al's on the alto and together they are the most awesome, cool, exciting, groovy band in the land. Guitar, bass, drums, fiddle, alto, guitar.
guitar, bass, drums, fiddle, alto, guitar, bass, drums, fiddle, alto, the most awesome, cool, exciting, groovy band in the land. Now, let's learn more about Granny's teenage musicians. Granny E rents her second floor apartment to Billy, who plays the big bad bass. Granny and Billy enjoy playing duets. A duet is when two musicians play their instruments together. Granny plays her swinging guitar and Billy plays his big bad bass. Granny decides that they need Awesome Alice as a singer added to their duet. This way, they can add words to their music. Now, they have three people in their group. This is called a trio. Did you notice this trio spells out the word gab with Granny Everybody, Awesome Alice, and Billy on the Big Bad Bass? Don't let Granny, Awesome Alice, and Billy Bass fool you by wearing a stem like a flower has a stem. Remember, they spell out the word gab when they are together. Can you recognize these characters as music notes? Now, let's quiz each other on the small bass clef quiz cards and then take test one. Now, you are ready to take a test on Granny, Awesome Alice, and Billy Bass. Don't let them fool you by wearing or not wearing a stem. Let's pause our video while you take test one. You did great! Now find Gab on the lower notes of your keyboard or bass xylophone. Granny is 11 notes away from middle C, or Crazy Cat on your keyboard. You can mark these notes with the stickers from your book. Sometimes we also give Crazy Cat the name Middle C. Turn the page to find out why. We call Crazy Cat Middle C because she is on the fence in the middle or between Mr. Everybody's apartment and Granny's apartment. Crazy Cat is also almost in the middle of the piano. Now we are going to learn to play the characters or notes in bass clef, or what we call the lower sounding tones. We will start learning to play lower sounding music with the characters that spell gab. Now let's turn the page and practice our new song. Here is your first song to practice on the notes G, A, B. Name the notes out loud as you play them. If your child can read the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, they can now learn to read and play music. They will be reading notes and playing a simple song in less than 30 minutes. If you enjoyed our story and are pleased with the results, subscribe to our channel and we will inform you of our next music teaching video. How to receive free stickers and quiz cards is on the next page. Now, press the hold button and start practicing.